Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, doing well. So, how was your day so far? It's been chill. All right. My car in, kind of putting out fires, but it's it's all right. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So, so guys, your uh, fourth studio album, Funeral Number Four, is to be out on August 9th. Uh, so, like guys, like to tell me a bit on the songwriting process and the production behind this new album. Yeah, so I mean, the songwriting process, like me and Vi pulled from all different kinds of songs, like from our like different ideas that we've had over the years. Like one song came from something I wrote in 2017, one from um, 2018, and then other things were written like in the studio. So there was a lot of like different years kind of coming together for it. Yeah, it took about a year. Um, it's a very long process, but we did it. And uh, does the album focus on anything particular? Like not really. No, it, there wasn't like a a concept or a theme for it. I feel like we usually like we'll write it and then something comes out of it. Like a general theme kind of comes out of it. So this one, a lot of the songs have to do with um almost like bringing something from the subconscious like into the conscious and like just examining that. So I feel like that was something, and that's kind of why we went with like the funeral soundtrack kind of like thing. There's a lot of things it's like examining something from the past and then being like, maybe I should let that die. <laughs> and uh, speaking on the album, 11 mind blowing songs, beautifully written songs, amazing vocals, great musicianship, each and every song totally done well and uh, can't skip any song from this album it's like uh, from the from from the top to the end everything is fantastic there so i want to thank you guys so much for putting up an amazing album this year thank and, you and thank as a you. Friend, uh, how, how do you guys feel about the work that you have done on funeral soundtrack number four how do we feel about what how about this uh, the outcome of this album the outcome yeah how it ended up i'm pretty happy with it um there's always things that i want to change like there's certain there's one song where i wish i had just left the first thing that i did but i was like no 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 and then like changed it changed it like for the end and it's just like you know so there's certain things here and there that it's like i should have just left that how it was or like oh, i wish i could change this but overall i'm pretty happy with it mm -hmm. And any uh, plans for the day of the release? Well, we do have some plans. I don't know if I can really talk about it. We're doing some yeah. like live performances, um, tours. We've got like a tour in Europe right afterwards from like the 15th or the 14th of August until like the 25th of August. So we're playing festivals, playing some headline shows. And then in October and November, we're going on a U.S. headline tour. Interesting. And uh, last Friday, you put up the video for Should Have Been Me. Uh, I would you like to talk a bit on the making of this video? Yeah. Um, so fun. I was, yeah. yeah. No, I was just, like, we, the turnaround time was pretty quick. Like, we filmed it, like, earlier last week, and, uh, it was fun. I mean, it was mostly directed and headed up by Vi. Um, I like how it came out. She did a really good job with the vision. And uh, we've been working with a great production company for these last two videos, right? Just for the last two? Plucked or this for, one? Yeah, for Plucked and and this one. I think yeah, I and they just are super easy to work with. And, um, like, you know, I feel like it's been a thing mainly with, like, you and Vi where, like, you guys have really cool ideas and then like they don't get executed well locker room came out really good but you know yeah. for you know what i mean for the most part like <laughs> don't get exactly executed how it was planned but these last two like came out really really good and um yeah um it was fun yeah and vi's been wanting to do like a horror movie style video yeah. for a while so she finally got to do it and yeah, space. They're called the they're called space visuals. It's um this guy Pseudo, and 
this woman um on Helica and they're both and they have like a full production team like it's super professional they're like fantastic at what they do yeah and they're really good at helping to like flesh out the vision and make it make it happen mm -hmm. and uh any plans to come up with another single before the release of the album I don't think so we've already released like half of the songs you know <laughs> um, <laughs> i was honestly like this is way too many oh my god yeah. but there's gonna be a focus track after the yeah. album's out yeah that's good and uh, mm -hmm. are you guys planning for some kind of international touring later this year or early 2025 yes we are so yeah. we're touring in europe and the uk soon so that's international um and then we're also we have some other things in the works for 2025 i think yeah i think even late this year yeah it's possible it's po it's in the, possible in the nether regions in the hmm. not netherlands but yeah <laughs> down under <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, the band's uh, history goes way back to 2015 and now with four studio albums, like how, how do you guys feel about the road that you have traveled so far? It feels good. It feels long, like a long and winding road. Um, <laughs> it goes like this and then goes like, and then it's like, yeah, <laughs> very all over the place. Yeah, but it's I feel good about it. I feel pretty good about it. I'm kind of glad mm -hmm. that we've had sort of like a steady growth as opposed to like a like straight through the roof kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Cause I don't know how I would deal with that. Yeah. What do you think, Narse? No, I mean, we talk about that all the time that we're like glad it wasn't just like a crazy, like skyrocket and how our success has panned out. Like I'm also very glad that it's been very gradual, um, but it's also been, a lot of great times and a lot of tumultuous times. Um, but yeah, we're in a good spot right now. Um, I think we're all pretty happy. Um, yeah, we, it was great that we took some time off this summer because then I think we're going to be very re-energized for what's coming. Um, yeah, 2024 is looking good for Debo. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, I know there has been a lot of uh, great moments over the years, but is there something special that has happened to you guys over the years that you want to share with me? That's already happened this year? Oh, uh, the highlight moments? Just like over the years? Ooh, let's see. Uh. Mm. Touring with Blink-182 and Turnstile. That whole tour was yeah. a big highlight. That was so cool. Um, just the whole thing. Just getting to like be in such big venues with such like pro bands. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're just so pro. Um, um, I think, something crazy yeah. happened a few months ago at a festival called Rockville. And uh, welcome to Rockville in Florida where it was a we played the day that the Foo Fighters were playing and we're all big fans of them, especially this guy. And we were watching Primus and Dave Grohl comes walking up to also watch Primus. And then a few songs later, he turns around to leave and he recognizes our bass player, David, mm -hmm. and is like, oh my God, I love your band. Mm -hmm. And that was just a crazy, it was just like a, very quick like 30 second interaction but like he's been like my number one forever love that dude and everything he's done and just for him to recognize david and, and say he likes our band was really really amazing felt very surreal definitely a highlight yeah yeah it's like oh my god like you listen to destroy boys yeah that's crazy that was nuts yeah Mm -hmm. But the Blink tour was, was awesome. That was probably my favorite tour because, like, yeah, like, just experience. Like, the whole tour, like, the first half was that, playing arenas with those two amazing bands. And then the second half was, like, doing our own club shows and just, like, a mix of, that. you know, those two um, different, like, styles of um, shows was, like, super fun. And in turn, we did the whole U.S. that way, and that was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love, like, going on tour with the homies, too. Like, 
The yeah. Scowl tour was a highlight. Touring with our friends the, in Chokeberry. Yeah. Touring with Mansi Pussy like a couple years yeah. ago. That was really cool. Whenever we play shows with Jigsaw. Yeah, Jigsaw Youth, like, like. Those are so yeah, those were like, so fun. Just playing yeah. with the with good friends. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that again later this year. Yeah, so hype. <laughs> Wonderful. And any uh, merchandise plans uh, for this new album? Yeah, I think so. We've actually been brainstorming um, new merch items. I want to get socks. I want Destroy Boys socks. I want Destroy socks really bad. That'd be a good one. Yeah, maybe we should sell like tiny coffins or something. Coffin <laughs> cheese, yeah. chain, auto openers. Lighters would yeah. be cool. Lighters would be cool. There's some really cool like merch designs that we have. There's one for Amor Divino, like the shirt design, like looks really beautiful. Um, yeah, so there's some stuff in the works for merch. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, guys, kindly any message that you have for the Destroy Boys fans around the world? I love you. Join the <laughs> Discord. I, I, there's a Discord server. Do you know what Discord is? Yeah. Um, I'll just say, like, in case someone listens to this and, like, doesn't know what it is, Discord is, like, an online community kind of thing, and you can, like, have different, just, there's stuff for everything. There's, like, I don't know, I'm trying to look at mine. Like, Hawthorne Heights has one, um, like, Multiamory Podcast has a Discord. It's basically where, like, people can come together and chat. And so I made one for the Destroy, for Destroy Boys fans. It's really fun, so if you want to, check it out. And also, yeah, we love you. Wherever you live, we want to go there. Um, and hopefully we will. And thank you so much for supporting us and like listening to our music and listening to us on interviews and stuff. Just like, thank you so much. Like, it means the world to us. We love you. See you soon, wherever yeah. you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and uh, Nazay, I want to thank you both so much for uh, giving me today this wonderful opportunity to talk about uh, Funeral Soundtrack album number four release and uh, much behind the band. And uh, thanks for the musical awesomeness that you guys have been given, giving us over the years. And uh, thanks for the new album and really looking forward for the release and hope to see you guys on the road sometime soon. Sweet. Yeah, me yeah, too. Thank you. And uh, take care and have a great evening out there. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.